They are very very beautiful, but they are a little bit naked if you ask me Welcome to today's video. I'm Oz. Hope you're having a splendid day Once again, my video uploading has been interrupted because I had a break-in in the garage and uh, If you are watching you that stole my cameras f you so <laughs> that's the way it is unfortunately but now I do have a new camera, but uh, the external microphone I have is not that great. So you might have some echo that would disturb uh, the audio quality. I hope you can bear with me. So uh, what we will be doing today is then to install a set of custom stickers that I got for the wheels. As you can see, they are in orange and it will go really, really well with the orange on the car if I put them by each other and as you can see it's a pretty good match I would say and uh, from a quality perspective though these are the OEM ones that came with the wheels I opted for the red ones I think uh, there is a set in black or blue maybe only I don't really know but the quality on these aftermarket ones are not as great as uh, the ones supplied I can just I can see that just looking at them so hopefully they will last some time at least before start peeling off maybe while I'm washing the car which I do quite frequently that will uh, nudge them off so to speak but we'll see hopefully they will last quite some time I don't want to mention the company I got these from if you want to know where I got them from ping me on Instagram and I will ping you there because could be that uh, these type of stickers then are obviously sold on uh, knockoff wheels and I don't want to endorse that in this video but you at least know that this possibility is there if you do have a set of Rego Masters or any other uh, wheel like a Volk etc then and also we do have an instruction with the OEM uh, stickers then that explains how we are supposed to do so that is that and uh, with regards to the application I will do this in sequence because in today's video we will also be applying ceramic coating to the wheels but first we will apply the stickers and then I will apply the ceramic coating and what we have in stock for that is this as you can see I do like Gion so we will be applying Gion rim q2 and i have been applying gion on previous wheels as well and i do think that it works really well the longevity might not be the best somewhere around nine to twelve months with the type of driving i'm doing because i do track days and so on so it actually then um, dresses the ceramic coating a little bit extra because of the heat and the number of times i do wash the car then so that's the way it is but we will first be installing the stickers and then we will do the ceramic coating and while installing the stickers I will not be talking I might do a time lapse or similar because being borderline OCD I want this to be applied in a good manner without it being too crooked because these need to go it's difficult to do it now but they need to go somewhere here and we obviously need to have it symmetrical and have it similar on all four wheels so it doesn't look like a half-assed job so that's the way it is and uh, if you do like today's video or did like today's video give it a thumbs up and do remember to subscribe for future content I had uh, quite many things planned but the that stole the camera messed that up so we have uh, ZMix taillights coming we have some Alcantara from ZMix an armrest and so on and also on my camera or on the memory card which was in the camera which was stolen then I had material for two separate videos for ceramic coatings I don't know how we do with that but that's the way it is with all of this said let's get on with the installation of the stickers just to give you an idea so it will look something similar to this not maybe exactly in this placement but that's how they will go on before applying the stickers and uh, doing the ceramic coating etc the wheels needs to be as clean as possible and the best uh, option is to obviously do this before you uh, mount any tires on the wheels and start using them in my case i had to wait for the stickers so uh this is what we will have to do with so uh let's start with the application and i will do a, like a time lapse type of thing and we will see how it came out 
So this is the recommended alignment uh, for the stickers as you can see according to the OEM and I might overdo it a little bit but this is the way I will do it to get it exactly in the correct position. finally finished and I think they came out really great and it was a very very tedious work I don't know how long time it took me because I don't want any of this to become crooked or not being straight or being centered etc so what I did was as I showed you earlier I used my laser tool to uh, take out the center of the spokes or to have it symmetrical from side to side when installing the rim stickers done and it came out really well and some tips and tricks I don't know if this comes through so as an example uh, the Desmond sticker here once I had my center line on the spoke I had measured out uh, the middle of uh, the sticker done so I knew if I aligned that with the uh, laser line at least the sticker will be centered in the spoke on the spoke and then I took a measurement from uh, the barrel here to the end of the sticker and I tried to do the same on all of them so everything it looks similar also another thing which I didn't mention is that I did use the OEM stickers to help me with the alignment so the OEM stickers have two lines on them I don't know if this comes through which is supposed to be placed somewhere here on the rim then uh, as a reference point so you know you get the curvature correct so I did use that as a reference when installing the aftermarket ones we do have some lines in the middle here as well and on the other side and I use that as a guidance as well when installing the stickers so all in all it came out really great and what is nice then is that we can peel off the stickers if we feel that it is too much and on the car it looks like this as such it looks really good maybe i'll just keep the desmond on the evo sticker and remove the uh, ones on the lip here or if we just keep everything as is by my opinion it turned out really really great uh, let me know in the comment sections what you think is it overdone or is it uh, nice because this is how they come from oem perspective but maybe not exactly like this as i do then have orange which do go really well with the calipers i don't know if this comes through but it's almost exactly the same color against the car i don't know 95 percent the same maybe from this distance so it is really really nice what is next to do then is to apply ceramic coating but i will do that on another day so for today's video it is time to wrap it up I will do a separate video i have other videos of ceramic coating the wheel so you can have a look at that as well but i will do a separate video with the ceramic coating i don't know maybe i'll do an asmr type of uh, video without any talking so you can just sit back and relax and enjoy the show as pan says it <laughs> i don't know if you follow the pan the owner organizer but that's the way it is so if you have any questions comments uh, leave them down below in the comment sections and I will try to answer them the best I can. If you did like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Do remember to subscribe for future content. Hopefully this camera will not be stolen. Then, fingers crossed, we'll see. Until the next time.